After you build your nano mouse and upload a few simple programs, the next thing you're going to want to do is to test and calibrate your servo motors. To do this, we're going to write a very simple program to send your servo motors the stop command. We need to do this because they probably did not come calibrated from the factory. The first step in doing this is to include a line of code at the very top of your uh, program that includes a library. A library is a bunch of code that somebody else wrote that allows us to do some pretty cool things. Here we're going to include the servo library which allows us to control servo motors. That allows us to create what's called a servo object. So I can say servo left servo. This is I'm creating something that allows me to access a bunch of uh, functions that are associated with servo motors. So I'm going to have one for my left servo motor, and then I'm going to create another servo for my right servo motor. The functions that I get access to are the, fo uh, the two really important ones that I get access to are as follows. The first one is the attach. So I'm going to say left servo dot attach function and I'm going to attach this to pin number six. So basically this tells uh, the servo object what pin I've actually connected the servo motor to. Where is it getting its information about how fast that motor needs to go and in what direction. I need to do that for the right servo motor as well. and they're attached to pins six and five. We did that when we were actually building the robot. And then the next function that I'm going to use is uh, serv uh, left servo right microseconds. And what this does is it sends a, a, a pulse that's uh, 1500 milli milliseconds, microseconds, and that pulse is the just kind of a general standard stop signal for most servos. It's a position, the middle position, or with a continuous rotation servo, the stop position. We're going to do the same thing for the right servo. And once you have this, go ahead and upload it to your robot. Once you have uploaded the program to your nano mouse, the next step to calibrate the servo motors is to make sure that your 9 volt power supply is plugged into the breadboard so that uh, it's using this as the power supply when it's running and then to flick that on and it should run the program right off the bat. Now you'll see the servos are turning, that's because they're not calibrated. To calibrate them, I'm going to take the battery off the back here, which will give me access to some potentiometers, which are, get all the wires out of the way here. You can see there's a couple potentiometers buried inside the nanomouse, inside the servo motors there. And so what I need to do is just take a screwdriver and stick it in here and twist that potentiometer until the wheel stops churning. And then I've got to do it to the other one. And once I've done that, the mouse is calibrated and we're ready to move on to the next step.